What's going on? So today we are going to be reviewing the Nike Dunk Kaka Wows or Mochas, whatever the fuck you want to call them. And let's get right into it. So to be honest, I'm fucking with it. This is actually my first like personal dunk low, I guess, that I've won. All the other ones were either for someone else or, you know, got a little bread off them. But I was actually excited for these because to me, they're they're really clean. I mean, the color scheme is classic. How can you go wrong with, you know, a nice brown upper, some leather, white, and then the midsole is like a cream color. I could have also done a white midsole, but I do like the cream. I haven't really got an in-depth look at these. Minor flaws already spotted. Um, but, you know, this is just your standard dunk quality. Nothing serious, nothing fancy. But I was excited for these. I got these through the Nike app, not the sneakers app. These did not release on the sneakers app, at least not to my knowledge. And they had released a couple times prior on like other websites um, from what I know. So, yeah, I did get them recently. You can see the glue stains. Whoa, that's actually crazy. Um, across the whole shoe, as well as some more little flaws over here. Um, but the colorway is nasty. I'll give them that. This is really clean colorway. I don't know if that's like a red stain or something, but yeah, I don't. Lots of stains on the shoe. I don't really know what that is. Seems like there's some other colors on there. You can see that. I don't know what the fuck that is. This is crazy because I bet if I gave this to somebody, I was like, hey, is this a fake shoe? And, you know, I pointed those flaws. They'd be like, yeah, yeah, maybe. You know, but a lot of replicas don't even do shit like that, to be honest. Um, you can see all the glue and shit. Little stain right there on the dunks. Did not notice that earlier. Yeah, I just kind of peeked at the bottom. Look at that, man. Come on. Who wore my shit? Like, it really looks like somebody wore your shit. Look at that. You know, I've seen a lot of people first time, I guess, Nike or Jordan buyers, they post and they're like, are they supposed to look like this? Like, yeah, man, sorry. That's just how the quality is now. You know, it's just getting worse progressively. But yeah, this is my personal little low top dunk. You know, I'm happy with it, I guess, because, you know, I got them for retail. So, you know, a rep would have been fine, too. But for the same price, it's kind of like ah, I'd rather just get the flawed up retail pair, you know. But nonetheless, I think this is a really clean colorway. I don't know what that is over there. You know, quality's meh. But that's obviously the case with dunks now. They're just pumping them out so they could give two shits about the quality um overall not a bad shoe a little slept on even resale is is going down on these it's actually really cheap it's like 150 or some shit like that which isn't cheap for a dunk but it's cheap for what some dunks are worth you know it's crazy we were at a point where you can see this little crease dunks are 300 bucks which is insane this almost looks like a different color. I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't know if you see that. It almost looks like gray. I don't know if that's intentional. You can kind of see it better right here. But whatever, I guess. Um, overall, not, not a bad cop. You know, super, super clean colorway in my opinion. Even in a dunk high, these would look nice. A Jordan 1 high would look nice very similar to the dunk it's you know similar to the airship model brown lining but you know definitely underrated colorway in my opinion you know these are pretty clean let me know what y'all think and i'll catch y'all in the next one peace